Modernism versus Postmodernism. This lecture offers a basic understanding of the difference between modernism and postmodernism. I'm D. Elizabeth Glasgow, and I'm your lecturer for this series. The 20th century can be divided into two distinct periods, one characterized by the modernist movement and the other by postmodernism. Postmodernism was a response in many ways to modernism, and hence they can be considered to be two aspects of the same movement. But there are major differences between modernism and postmodernism. Modernism's segue into postmodernism came about because of a basic difference in the way of looking at society and progress. That is to say, the difference lies in two approaches towards life. First, some background. Modernism and postmodernism is a reaction to the Enlightenment. The Enlightenment was a period in European history during the 17th century when science and reason supposedly triumphed over faith and tradition as a societal guiding principle of progress. The reality was more complex, and it is this complexity that fueled the inception of both movements. Two central tenets of the Enlightenment were as follows. One, the perfectibility of human nature, and two, the belief in human progress through the development of human knowledge, especially the sciences. The Enlightenment is often considered by many historians, but not all, to be the beginning of the modern period in human history. By the 19th century, the Enlightenment's impact was assessed by intellectuals and artists, and it was reaffirmed. But some of the ideals of the Enlightenment, like certainty, were jettisoned. In the 20th century, scientific findings like quantum physics seriously undermined the possibility of a deterministic model of the world. As a guiding principle, reason was still affirmed, as was the belief in human progress. Technology encroached into all aspects of life and was seen as evidence of the capacity of calculated reason to improve human life. The project of modernism was to examine the impediment still holding society back. For example, in the visual arts, there was the rejection of realism as an artistic ideal and the move toward more abstraction and self-conscious art. This can be seen with the artistic output of painters like Theodore Van Gogh and his intense landscapes, or Picasso and his cubist portraits. These works express deep perceptual truths without being true to observed reality. Similarly, modernism in music referred to a period of change and development when composers made a break from past conventions in music by experimenting with altering, organizing, and approaching harmonic, melodic, and rhythmic aspects of music. The modernist composers challenged orthodox conventionality in the music field by experimenting with composition. As with music and art, in architecture and literature, this experimentation and other unorthodox approaches across the creative genres generated hostile criticism from the public. During the modernist era, art and literary works were considered unique creations of artists. These works were believed to possess deep meaning. It was an era dominated by novels and books. During the postmodernist era, with the onset of microchips, digitization, and other technological advancements, television and computers became dominant in society. Art and literary works began to be copied and preserved by means of digital media. Individuals ceased to believe that art and literary works bore one unique meaning. Rather, postmodernists believed in deriving their own meanings from works of art and literature. Interactive media and the Internet led to distribution of knowledge. Music by people like Mozart and Beethoven, which was appreciated during modernism, became less popular in the postmodern era. World music, DJs, and remixes characterized postmodernism. Architectural forms that were popular during modernism were replaced by a postmodern mix of different architectural styles. Modernism Overview Modernism describes a collection of cultural movements of the late 19th and early 20th century. It was an emancipatory project whose main idea was that traditional values and institutions were oppressive, divisive, and inefficient and should therefore be replaced by rational values and institutions. 
modernism was characterized by a dramatic change of thought, whereby individuals used intellect to improve the human environment. Modernism brought about a reform in all spheres of life, including philosophy, commerce, art, and literature, with the aid of science, technology, and experimentation. This led to progress in many spheres of life by changing the approach of mankind towards them. Ultimately, modernism attempted to free humanity from its historical baggage through the use of philosophy and science. For instance, liberalism and socialism, communism, are prominent forms of modernist politics. In architecture, art, and music, modernists tried to produce timeless products that were not tied to tradition, but instead relied on formal mathematical rule sets. The music of Schoenberg, the Baja School of Architecture, and painters such as L. Lisitsky are typical examples for modernist art. Now, postmodernism. Postmodernism means after the modern. It was a reaction to modernism and was influenced by disenchantment brought on by the Second World War. Postmodernism refers to the state that lacks a central hierarchy and one that is complex, ambiguous, and diverse. For example, developments in society, economy, and culture of the 1960s were impacted by postmodernism. Postmodernism can be thought of as a nihilistic response to modernism, which was a positive and constructive ideology. Postmodernists ascribe to the notion that modernist ideals can never be attained because of differences among cultures and human beings in general. In other words, postmodernists like Heidegger, Derrida, and Lyotard attacked the modernist belief in rationality, objectivity, and universalism in favor of relativism, the view that there is no objective truth, as well as identity. Grand narratives like freedom, societal progress, scientific progress were criticized by postmodernists who instead emphasized that difference rather than forced unity should be celebrated. Again, this way of thinking came about because of some setbacks in the modernist agenda like World War I, World War II, colonialism, and the failure of both liberal capitalism and Stalinism to deliver what had been promised by modernity, mainly wealth and freedom. In other words, postmodernism is a backlash against modernity. The two world wars were a major setback to culture in general. They were a shock. Postmodernists believed that the monstrosity of the wars was enabled by modernism, which they saw as the brainchild of the Enlightenment, calculated reason and technology. This belief dissipated faith in human progress and the perfectibility of human nature. The collapse of tradition created a frightening situation, whereby meaning became difficult to discern amid the horror of societal breakdown. After the wars, a return to the modernist project tradition was no longer a viable option. This led to serious questioning of humankind's place in the universe. Postmodernism, hence, represented a loss in faith in human reason. Postmodernism provides a bleak prognosis of the human condition and offers no real solutions. Conclusion Modernism and postmodernism were both movements that emerged from an analysis of events within the modern period from the perspective of the values of the Enlightenment. But, whereas modernism offered a qualified endorsement of Enlightenment ideals, postmodernism was an unequivocal denunciation of them. Modernism developed into an ideology of a unified world and a unified humanity with a shared vision and shared goals. Postmodernism, on the other hand, was a counter-movement to modernism. Postmodernists argued that humankind may never reach its goal of a unified humanity. I'm D. Elizabeth Glasgow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.